I would, I would. We haven't gotten many uh, stipulations this this cube. Last The last cube, we got like 15 stipulations. It was pretty insane. The last vintage cube, I believe. The Legacy cube, we have not gotten many. And Ven Legacy is pretty much on point with, uh, with vintage in terms of power and fun level. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. I'm Mike B. He's Frank. Consecrated Sphinx is going to be the pick. How much longer is on this cube? It's actually until the 28th. There's no Consecrated Sphinx. I lied to everyone. Right. It's sad. There's a, a free. That's close, right? Mm. Actually, um, no. Okay. Yeah, no. If it was a 2-3, maybe, because then you could double his power and toughness, and it's it's similar. Hmm. Say the card name in a funny voice when... That's not a, that's not a stipulation. Mike has to play while Frank sits on the toilet and yells picks, plays and builds... Plays and deck building decisions to him from across the house. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. I don't know what the pick is here. I kind of like Elspeth. I don't hate Elspeth. Is Mentor better? Yeah, nah. a build around, but build around, build around, build up, build up, and build down. Hmm. hmm. Not my finest moment. Rap, rap moment. It's just an idea. Okay. Well, I appreciate the suggestion. Hit that only female cube again. That was a good one. That actually worked very, very well. Um, I don't know which one it is. It's one of these two, I think. I think I like Elspeth because. Honestly, it's I don't a really powerful card. I don't like the turn I have to take off to play recruiter and do nothing else. Playing a one one in this cube seems oh, I actually like history of Banalia. What if this comes back? What if we take Council's Judgment and this comes back? I think that might come back. I Council think so too. It doesn't come back though. I agree with you. And Council Judgment is so good in this cube. Oh, I kinda like Arena Rector here. More like Arena damn near killed her, am I right? Well. Yeah, I'm right. I think it's Green Erector, right? Does the, the Planeswalker come into play, or does it go into your hand? It goes into play. Mm, that's pretty good. I know. I know. <clears throat> Whatever. I took it. I took it. Alright, so we have to go a different direction. Devin, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I don't know what to pick here. Deceiver Exarch is interesting, but it, we can't combo without the red. That's true. Also, Veraska. Reanimate. It's not the good Veraska, though. It's the, it's the five Veraska, not the six Veraska. I Vraska. think it's just fine. I think it is fine. It does kill. It does have a. It's neg her negative three ability is assassin's trophy, so that's cool. Hey, how does Hal Jordan greet Sinestro? Hmm. Is it with a parallax wave? <laughs> Guess. I think reanimate is always good. What do you think? What do you want to? I don't really have the card to support it, but I guess it's we can get it's them. fourth pick, Michael. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Selfless spirit? Secure the waste? Yeah, I think it's Inquisition or Secure the Waste. Secure the Waste could be very good, especially... Yeah, actually, I think Secure is fine. Put this in the sideboard. Whatever, I'll take this for now. Did you hear about the time I damn near Arena killed her? I think you mean Rector. Hmm. You know, maybe. Hard to say. Do you even know what Reanimate does? I, I've read it a few times. I like that capital U, though. Do you even know what Reanimate does? I do. I do. Rector, damn near. That's why. That. Isn't that. That's not why. Did I say that, right? That's, you did. That's the joke. Johnny Goldbane. That's the Kakush. You like that Kakush? Mm hmm. 
There's a lot of there's a lot of Kokush fans. There's a lot of Alexa Lettuce. Oh, also Smoke Doke Smoke Doke is now a subscriber. So now we have Smoke and Dope 420, Smoke Doke and Smoke Smoke Doke and Kind Buds. Hmm. So I have a lot of Electric Lettuce fans in my in my stream. You say Electric Lettuce? Yeah, it's the Electric Lettuce. Since when is it called that? Since since forever, man. Get with it. Get I've with the times, Daddy O. Actually, Johnny could be very good with Elspeth and with Secure the Ways. So you just put a bunch of counters on your on your dudes. Yeah. I just want to have more planeswalkers to get with the arena rector. How many of Johnny's can we put in one deck? Several. We haven't done red white yet. Maybe we do red white. Is fiery confluence good? It's double red though. We all know Mike loves the kakush and them jazz cigarettes. That's true. You're double red, you stupid Mitch. Got him. Oh, Tender Shoot Dried. We can do this again. Mm. This card is OP, man. Don't even not deny. Not when you're not ramping into it, though. I think it's really slow. Yeah, but if we take green cards, then we are ramping into it. I just don't think green white's a very good combo. Uh, the combo the is connected to the red. Let's take the red. Let's take the Fiery Confluence. <clears throat> I want to take the Ajani because of oh our my arena. God. Right I, just, I was running out of time, okay? Marshall. Marshall. Yeah. yeah, all right. Okay. Yes! Oh! That's better. Symbol's way better. That is better. Reckoner's also good. Yeah, it's solid, dude. She came back. Mm. This card just could be good. It's just a decent sideboard card. Parallax Wave could also be good, though. I like Wave. Alright. Oh! 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 Rewarded! Make me feel some type of wave. Legion hype bits. Legion hype bits are real because, boy, Assemble the Legion has won me quite a few games. <clears throat> Look, we got Arena Rector and Boros Reckoner. A lot of wreck. Ooh. I don't think we're playing either. Yeah, but I like that they're both red cards. That's a good sign, right? Whatever, no man. one's ever red. That's true. I feel like red is either completely like there's one dude who takes everything and no one else takes anything. Am I ready for that Hungry Howies later? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big tip. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah if you. It's on the low today? If you, what? It's on the low. Yeah, it's on that. He's got that wacky Wednesday. If you assemble the Legion and then you um, Armageddon, I think you. Wow. Even that's very good with tokens. Holy smokes. What does that thing do? It gives all your creatures exalted. Oh. So, like, if you have six tokens, you have exalted seven. <clears throat> Assemble the Howies. <laughs> oh, man. Also, it's funny because it's the Howie, the Howie symbol is red-white. So, this could literally just make Howie tokens, and it would be perfect. Look, it's it just matches so well. It's pretty much on brand. It is on brand. I hope we get a six mana Elspeth or a. I don't know who else we could. I don't know who else I care about getting. Also, pizza's kind of red white, right? Pizza is kind of red white. Yeah, it's actually completely red and white. The crust and the cheese are white, and the uh, the sauce is obviously red. Replace the Boros symbol on the ground with Howie's. <laughs> oh, man, that's fantastic. Howie's with mustard or mustarded? Mustard? Mustard. That was really hard to say. I was not comfortable saying. What's going on? Let's just... Oh, do we do it? Yeah, I it, think so. It might come back. We could probably take the Jitte. Yeah, normally those actually... Those actually no one back. cares about these. Because no one wants to play them. I think it's actually Jitte and this comes back. Especially because if we can get Stoneforge Mystic, we're in good shape. Yeah, Jit's pretty good. And we're, we have no shortage of creatures to... Uh... Oh, I like Elyra a lot. It's also Stormbreath Dragon. Is that better than Lyra? 
also we got an angel sub theme here with some sublime archangel an angel we have an angel sublime theme yeah lyra's like hard to deal with in this cube i think that is a doom blade <laughs> I, you know what i guess you're right i guess you're right i love olives actually olives are one of my go-to toppings on pizzas How come you can never get green olives on a pizza? I don't know. I think they're harder to get. It's probably not worth it for people to carry them because uh, it's just probably not ordered that frequently. I've seen it on like Greek style pizzas. Yeah, before. they have like Mediterranean pizzas where you can get green olives on them. Man, so much olive hate in the chat. It's actually just Nosegat. Smoke Doke is on Black Olive Team. Pernicious Dude says olives are great. Mediterranean pizzas are legit. Usually they have artichokes, green olives, sun-dried tomatoes, um, sometimes eggplant. What else? A little feta. A little feta. The closes pizza place. What's the closes pizza place? If it does it, how do you how do you go there if it's closes? Hoo 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 hoo! Lil Feta is my SoundCloud rap name. Well, somebody had to do it, so that's good. I'm glad it was you. We also don't have to be that heavy. Like this guy's mono white, and we can actually splash this off of like two lands if we have them. So we don't actually have to. Let Sorry. Me know, let me know when you're done. <laughs> Sorry. I think he's literally four people made that little Feta joke. Lil Feta is my favorite rapper. Lil Feta is a great rapper. Love. Wow, that's ridiculous. Mm, awkward. We could drop the red. No, let's take that Elspeth. And there's a cryptic in here? Boy. Woo! Can he pass it, ladies and gentlemen? Is it possible? Does he have it in his soul <laughs> to pass it? It's not even that bad, really, because we're not... We're like, not super red. The only problem is we might be get, we might get cut from blue. We didn't see a lot of blue going around. <sighs> Stimulation don't take Sphinx. God. This is my most tested moment in Magic Cube. This is unbelievable. Oh, God. It felt so bad to do. I physically feel... Oh, all right, cool. I physically feel pained after having to do that. <laughs> I think I need to go take a nap. I'm sorry, guys. I think it was actually the right choice, though. It doesn't feel good. It feels bad. Do you know why I love... You know my favorite part about Consecrated Sphinx? Drawing two cards. Damn, Damn boy, he thick! Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really good. That's a payoff. Oh, but we. Oh, I guess we're not red. So I guess we're not. We're not black. Hero of Blade holds very good. Batter Skull. When we have Batter Stoneforge Mystic, better. seems really what we want to be doing. You know what happens if someone attacks you with Hero Blade holding Batter Skull out? They they, go, they concede happens. the game. Yeah. Because if they're just gonna run their dude into your Batter Skull. That's just bad times. Oh, Batter Skull on Reckoner? That seems good. Go ahead, block Maybe. it, I dare you. What if someone ripped a Consecrated Sphinx right in front of you? Um, What do they go for? They're actually... I think they're probably worth something, right? Yeah, they are. They'd be pretty stupid. I'd feel bad for them. They're like 16 bucks used. Used. What does used mean? Yeah, they're like $15. Like, if you're going to rip up $15, it's then... It's a real card. I feel commander. bad for you more than me because a lot of commander decks are on that card. Yeah, rightfully so. Remember that one time I had three of them in play and you conceded. Was that one we at the kitchen table? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I still lost that game. <laughs> Why don't people hug you more? You should get more hugs in your life. Wow, the masterpiece bones. consecrated Sphinx is sixty-four dollars. That's insane. Look at me on time and in, in binary. Dan O'Mac, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it.
Are you sure it's not Dan Zero Mac one? No. Sarkon. Brando, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. That constipated Sphinx pan. I'm feeling it. I'm also a karmic guide. Also, I don't hate Honor of the Pure. Look how many white tokens. All our creatures are white. Yeah. Literally all our creatures I are white. I thought the deck was white. <laughs> <laughs> Honor of the Pure might be. Five, six, seven, I don't know if it's two cards are we need back. it, though. I don't think we need it. It's good with the tokens. I like Sarkon because it's, I really want to maximize the number of Planeswalkers we could get with this. We have three already, though, which is pretty sweet. I wish we had an easy way to sacrifice this. I don't Sarkon know if... is also double red, which is kind of a little Yeah. Bad. You want to go Honor of the Pure? I kind of like Karmic Guy better. Really? Yeah. We don't have that many creatures to reanimate, though. We only have five creatures in our deck right now. Oh, yeah. That's true. Honor is good for everything in this deck, though. I... Thought the deck was wide. Damn it! Oh, cliff cliff top retreat seems good. Probably better than these two. I mean, we already have batter skull, which is kind of like worm worm light. And banefire is just banefire. Worm light. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna oh, take. Oh, that worm light. Yeah, that's when you're uh, trying to watch your your life link. Um, your life link calories. You go for the worm light. I thought the deck was white. Man, how can I already be out of coffee? This is nonsense. Because you are a machine. You are a machine. <laughs> I hate you. Brian. Ryan? I said Brian. What's that from? It's not from anything. I just made it. Um... You just made up the name Brian? That was the name? No, I didn't make up the name Brian. I just made That's up a That's a real bit. name, stupid. I didn't make up the name Brian. That would be amazing if you did. <laughs> did you know my claim to fame is inventing the name Brian? <laughs> I look it up. No one before this year was named Brian. I really like Inspiring Vantage, but I think Sun Titan's very, very good here. Once I get back. Uh, Honor of the Pure, Stoneforge, Jitte, Boros Reckoner. Like, it gets back a bunch of stuff now, and we can also build around and get more stuff to get back. I think I think one dual land is fine to pass. Remember, remember that time I was like, let's just take the dual land. And you're like, it's a two-color deck. Who even cares? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll just go with the Sun, tit sun Titties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this is a family-friendly stream. Oh, yeah. Get them, boys. This is a real get them. Yeah, Mike invented Brian, and then Brian Kibler was like, Hey, I like the sound of that. Everybody knows that. That's my name. That's that's Brian Kibler's origin story. It was first. It was B. Kibler at first, and then, they, uh, then everything changed once Mike's invention came, came out. I thought the deck was white. You were correct. Are you going to get more coffee or are you just going to stick with that? Is that your, are you out of the other drink too? No. That's just because ice though. There's water in there. There's Look, this guy came back. That guy's pretty good. I agree. So is, oh. What were you going to say? Is Linvala? Yeah. I don't think she's as good in this cube though. I thought Mike's I face. Get him, man. I don't want to get him. <laughs> we can also take Liliana and just put her in the deck so that we can search for it with Academy Rector, Arena Rector. That'd be pretty sneaky, sis. Linvala is a right one. What does that even mean? You know, it's to the right. To the right. To the right. Our deck looks pretty good, but I think that about it. We have like no removal though. Oh, interesting. This is actually the good Chandra. How do you feel about the good Chandra? She good. She good. Do 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 do. My name is Michael B. Do 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 do. Passing Revelark is a travesty every... I don't think that's true. We have, like, literally one creature that Revelark can get in our deck. Oh, look, we can just play Dragons and Angels. Dragons and Angels. Oh, oh, oh. Right, right now. now. We do have a lot of four drops, though. Your face is made of four drops. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, you know why? 
Why? Because of all the four drops covering your face. Hmm. Suck on them eggs. Yeah, look, Shark came back. That's pretty sick, actually. Also removal, which we lack. Which we lack. How many Planeswalkers do we have now? Like five? Six? Yeah, okay, nobody cares about you. The only thing this deck is really laughing is like a path. That is the only thing this deck is laughing. <laughs> God dang it. You know what Just you Just let did. me get away with it. Just let it slide. This is a 22. This is, I, We could play this deck right now. I think this deck is fine right now. We could just play this guy. Admiral, don't start the train. Oh, we have a whole nother pack? Yeah, dude. Oh, crap. <laughs> Isn't it? That's pretty good, right? Does Marsh Flash get us anything? Uh, not yet. Okay. But I mean, like... There's nothing in this pack. Right. right. Chicken's actually good. <laughs> this chicken's pretty good. It might be better than Sublime Archangel. I'm not sure which format of 4-3 is better. Entity? Actually, Entity could be good with all our tokens. That's true. Maybe we take that. All right, I'll take that. All right, look at that beautiful chicken. If we got the Marsh Flats, then we could take this Badlands. Solemn? I was thinking Solemn. We have so many four drops, though. Do we sure. want Armageddon? I never want Armageddon. I think we do. I respect the fact that it's a strong strategy, but I never feel like I want it in my deck. Well, we're, like, pretty aggressive. All right, so we're going to put it over here at the sixth spot, because I don't think it's a four-mana spell. Oh, M G P M Om Vem Topum. That's good. Did you just cast a friggin' spell? <laughs> wow, did you learn the Did you learn You're a wizard Om G P M Lovatum. You're a wizard, Alan. I could just take Angel Invention. Yeah. Might be better than Storm Breath. Easier on the oh. Could have had it. Sin. No, not yet. I mean, we could have had it because of Deceiver X Arc, but. Right. Uh, Condemned's pretty good removal. I was thinking that. Actually, we do have some removal. We have Council's Ooh, Judgment. Path. Oof. Nothing else in the back, really. Yeah, that's fair. Plateau. Uh, I kind of like a Forsake the Wordly in the board, though. Plateau? Yeah, more two colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to come back. All right. Yeah, but also Plateau makes any fetch land better. It's true. This is 24 cards. What do we cut here? Oof. I think that's actually that's a good one. pretty good. He said about a Leshnorn. It's a very good anthem. I'm going to cut this Chandra. You can see that. Also, this deals with artifacts, so like Forsake is great, oh, but yeah. like we have a way to deal with Forgot artifacts. Deals with artifact. Councils deals with enchantments if we need it to. I can actually see not playing the Condemn. Yeah, it seems fine. <clears throat> cut the honor now? Why would I cut the? It's still like all of our creatures are green or white, green white. I don't know if we need it though. Like, I think it's probably strong enough without it. Uh, baby, is Boros signet in this in the sub? Uh, I don't think there are any signets in here, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no signets. Which is really kind of weird. O-ring. That's a solid one. That's a solid boy. I think this could just be the deck. I'm fine with this right now. We could actually cut these double red cards. Yeah, but those two are pretty good. Our mana is so... The removal and reach. I do like the reach. <clears throat> is Sun Titan a cut? Maybe. This is my iffy pile. Let's see what else we get. Secure and Martial Cure are two similar effects. That is true. Sun Angel... She had some mana acceleration. Storm breath cut. 
Isn't Stormbirth already cut? I don't think Sublime Archangel is actually that bad. I think it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty insane. You can get a bunch of one ones, and if they, uh, they all just get really big. Ooh, Sacred Foundry is nice. Yeah, that's a nice pickup. Our fixing is very, very good now. It's very, very good. Got them four dual lands. Sarkon is nice, again, because we have Arena Rector. So if we have a way to get rid of Arena Rector. Is Arena Rector too cute? I don't think so. It's a free Planeswalker. It's either a free Planeswalker or unblockable. I mean, these are the only things we can get back with Sun Titan, which actually makes it pretty bad, I think. Well, now we have O-Ring, though. Yeah, but the O-Ring leaving the battlefield is not very likely. Why do we even cut it? We don't need to cut. Because we, I'd rather just play a Stormbreath Dragon, you know? I guess. Why are you being this way? The guy is hard to deal with. Is this because your, is this because your mother didn't hug you a lot? With only two walkers, we have like five, we have like six Planeswalkers in the deck. Uh, where's the other one? We have four. We cut the Chandra. Two of four. That's still a good amount. I thought there was a fifth. There, I thought there was two more. Hmm. Well, we took two out. We took one out, right? It's only Chandra. Well, we took Chandra out, and we took out... Oh, wait. Maybe I could have sworn we had six Planeswalkers. <clears throat> Either way, we have five. It's still pretty good. Or we have four. We have four and a Chandra in the board. Elspeth, a Johnny. Elspeth. Can always bring in Els uh, bring in a Chandra if they have like a lot of X ones. <laughs> oh, cutie horse! Actually, see the Marsh Flats came back, and that's actually pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Now we can get Sacred Foundry or Plateau. And we can splash a black card. Oh, the Badlands, too. Do we have any black cards we're splashing? Uh, no. Reanimate. We could actually side in a Reanimate if we wanted to. Yeah. I don't care about Slagstorm. Because I feel like that's going to be worse for us. LaFoof, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Say hi to LaFoof's dad, Tim. LaFoof's dad, Tim. How you doing, buddy? How's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? Thank you. Got Thander. Got Hander? Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I'm not sure where the break is. Got Thander? Go Thander? Got Hander? And I'm about to break. What? And I, did you say I'm about to break? Mm hmm. I'm trying to think what led to that. Because you said you didn't know where the break was. Oh, okay. Well, I am one step closer to the edge now, so. I don't think so. You don't think you don't, you don't feel ambitious? Mm. I could see Harvester coming in. We don't have many life gain cards. How dare you? Lincoln Park is great. You know what, man? Lincoln Park is a pretty mainstream, like like a mainstream kind of like rock alternate alternative band but to deny their place in the the pantheon of of uh important rock is is pretty pretty weak i think i think those guys are they were like the first popular like rapish rock band ever which there aren't too many of i mean it's not nickelback come on we're sitting at the dinner table watching you. Fantastic. LaFo family, how you guys doing? Hope you guys are enjoying your meal. What about Rage Against the Machine? Rage Against the Machine That's is a gas. good one. Yeah. Those guys were uh, <clears throat> uh what's the word I want, I want, I want to <clears throat> Mike's literally dying. What's the word I want to use? Um, I think Beastie Boys are a lot less of a rock band and a lot more of a rap band. Yeah, I agree with that. This guy's splashable. Maybe not originally, because, uh... Actually, Vanguard seems great. Yeah, I think Rage Against the Machine is pretty revolutionary. Indeed. 
Corn did wasn't rap. Corn didn't rap, did they? No, corn was like rap metal though. I guess. Like mm. it was it was that weird subgenre that was created in the late nineties with like Limp Bizkit, uh Corn, you know oh god, who else? Beastie Boys are a Rick Rubin band. What does that even mean? Rick Rubin. Oh. Rick Rubin. <laughs> Oh, man, you're, I'm just here for the Rick Rubbins, guys. I think this is the deck. Yeah, I like it. Wait, what did you... No, it wasn't New Metal, though. It wasn't New Metal. Like, New Metal is different. New Metal is, like, Disturbed. New Metal is, like, uh, Godsmack. Those guys are all New Metal, right? But, like, Limp Bizkit and Korn, those were, like, Rap Metal. Those were, like, it was, like, this 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 amalgamation of Rap and Metal. And it's not. it wasn't the same as New Metal. Those are. I, I'm pretty sure those are two different genres. New metal is Linkin Park. No, they're not metal at all. Tool is Tool okay. Is rap just, metal. Tool is like a just a weird band. I don't even know what genre you put them in. But I do like Tool. I'm trying to look up. Tool is just rock. Tool is just alternative or rock. Like, Tool is industrial-ish. Apparently, yeah, apparently Limp Bizkit was new metal. All right. Oh, Prague. Yeah, yeah, Tool is Prague. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Is this our... Is this, is this good? Are we still waiting on picks? I thought we were in our deck construction. What did you add to the deck and cut? Nothing yet. You didn't? I thought you were playing the storm breath. I thought you were. Let's see what our other options of playables are. They're see. they're good. I think these are good. This is good. Maybe this guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Vanguard might be out of place, but I'm not sure. Like yeah, Vanguard's really out of place. The yeah. indestru I don't in like the indestructible is really strong. Yeah, but we're not really that aggressive. I guess that's true, actually. If we're not playing, like if we were playing the honor, maybe I could see it, but it's pronounced honor. Just play mirror entity. That just wins games. It, it kind of does. Is this our deck? I think so. Is this our deck? Is Chandra better than Fiery Confluence? No, Confluence just ends games. We've won so many games with that card. You're right. Six out of nowhere. Oh, I guess I can't save it when I don't have. Do we play the marsh? Do we play the badlands? Probably, right? It's just better than a mountain, and we can get it with marsh flats. So. But what's the upside to it? It's it can get, it can get a red source. I guess it can get a red source from plateau anyway. There's no downside to playing badlands, right? I guess it's another mountain. Like we just play it over a mountain, right? Okay. Eight, nine, ten. There isn't any wastelands 13. in this cube, so sure. Well, there is, isn't there? Isn't there wasteland? I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. Pretty sure there's Wasteland, but I don't think that's... Like, if they're going to Wasteland, this is the same as Wastelanding a Mountain, but I, I guess they... Whatever. I, I think it's a small compromise to make Marsh Flats have two targets. If we draw a Plateau and we play Marsh Flats, we can still get a red. Yeah. Whatever. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, versus 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9, 13. I think we can go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I think eight eight is fine, nine, and also this is not triple red. This is basically triple white. Yeah, this is actually good. All right, let's do it. Vanguard and Jitte is a combo. Well, any creature in Jitte is a combo. So it's a mountain fetchable if you have plateau and foundry and yeah, exactly. There is wasteland. Everything you say to me. Like this rock conversation we've gotten into. Are you ready for the magic? Well, this is awkward. Why? Because it has Stoneforge and both of our equipments in our hand. Oh, I only saw this. Mm. We still play Stoneforge and then just like... We can still put it into play, yeah. Yeah, that's whatever. Oh yeah, we just won the game. Well, assuming we draw lands. 
for a good amount of the game, yes. Do we actually, uh, do we just secure the waste for one on turn two? Yeah, I think so, yeah. That seems good. But okay. I see. Hmm, they have their own jet. Great, here we go. This awkward moment where you don't get to search. Ugh. Ugh. I'll search anyway, just in case I'm wrong. Nope, not wrong. Dang it. Oh, I miss. I'm gonna be like misclicked. Whoops! I'm so bad. <laughs> They're probably like, "Where did you? Where did it reveal? What happened?" I hope they think I misclicked. These are secure. One guy in the whole waste. <laughs> Got him. <clears throat> just uh, they're good. They're good. I just checked. Hey, man, I, I couldn't... I was looking over the wastes, and I uh, just wanted you to know that we did it. Well, we could get rid of the ghost here. We can get rid of the ghost. Or we can just get rid of the jit. God, they're both good. <clears throat> I think the jit's probably stronger in the long run. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I might just want to actually put a batter skull in block. I mean... That's pretty good. They trade with the the germ token if they use their counters, but then we they lose their geist. And if they're paying two to equip it anyway, then that's fine. Everything you say to me, it takes me one step closer to the edge. <laughs> and I'm about to break. Yep, had a feeling you'd do that, nerd. <laughs> You should ask them to give up the ghost before you... Hey, would you like to give up the ghost? <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. That's topical. I appreciate your... I appreciate your sense of humor. Would you like to use this ability? Uh, this guy. This is how... This is how Batter Skull sounds when, it, when it's charging at you. <laughs> oh, that was a good combat. So if they, even if they kill this, we can just bounce it and then replay it with the old Stone Forgems. And if they want to kill Stone Forge, then we can just get a 4-4 in play. I'm okay with anything that happens here. And we still have Council's Judgment to get rid of Jitte in the future, which might be next turn. <laughs> Yep. Oh, that's fine. We literally traded a germ token for a Geist of St. Traft and two Jitte counters. And we even gained the life back from... Uh... <laughs> Someone stop him. He cannot be stopped, do you see? Um, I think we just Jitte equip, right? Yeah, that seems good. Next turn we can assemble the Le Legion. It's all becoming clear why we didn't uh, search for anything, huh? Eh? Someone stop him, please. That was your first mistake. Assuming I could be stopped. <laughs> Baby shark, dude, dude, dude. Ask him how the combat was for. Hey, uh, you know, on a scale of one to ten, how how was your combat experience in the in the last turn? Oh, I wonder what you hit here. What are you going to hit? Oh, the batter skull? Oops. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I could care less about that. I'm going to play Assemble the Legion if you give me one land. Dang it, Michael! Do we yeah, just start, my fault. Do we just start plussing in Johnny here? Uh, I'd rather just get the cow out there. Really? Yeah. This guy goes to 5 immediately, and on 6 we get to make like a 1919. Yeah, but... We can also actually Council's Judgment this and get a 4-4 four -four back. That's true. That might be better. I guess the cow is fine for now, though, especially with a... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's a good song. What do you want from me? Dude, that actually feels kind of good in my earbuds, but now I feel weird saying that. It's okay. Just embrace it. This one counter seems good. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go crazy. How'd you do in Spider-Man last night? Dimitri is no, not afraid asked. I think we did pretty good. I think we did do pretty good. We did all the black cat. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything because you guys might play it. We had a good time. We had a good. We had a good spoodery time.
Why is Jitte good? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a good question. Let's talk about that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, admittedly worse when they don't have creatures out, I, I think. Yeah, but it does destroy an attacking creature. Yeah, but that costs three, so that's not going to be this turn. <clears throat> True. We now have Council's Judgment and O-Ring, so I'm pretty sure we're just going to be... I'm actually going to do all the counters here because... Really? Well, yeah, because if they have this out, they can probably kill something next turn. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? We can deal ten? Dealing ten seems pretty good. I'm just going to deal eight. <clears throat> we'll keep a counter. Kodaria, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Do, 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 do. Uh, I doubt they're going to have a haste guy. I'm just going to with Johnny here. Actually, what if we secure the waste for three and then we just a Johnny next turn and put counters on everything? That seems good. I'm going to do that. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure they're dead. LeFauf, two months in a row. That doesn't seem accurate. I'm going to I'm gonna open this link and hope it doesn't demonetize me. Let's find out what, what you just posted. Come on, let's go. Jace Vryn's Prodigy, huh? Why is it not going? Am I not hitting... Oh, I was hitting Shift, not Enter. Oh my god, it's literally Dragula. <laughs> Dig through the ditches and burn, slam. I don't know what I don't know what I don't know the verbs in that in that song. Is it burn through the witches or slam through the witches? I think it might be both. I think you're doing a lot of I think you're doing a lot of things to the witches. I think it's burn through the witches that slam in the back of my Dracula. I think Dracula, not Dracula. Dracula, sorry. Dracula is copyright of. Uh, you know, I don't know who owns the Dracula copyright. Probably Herman Munster. Herman Munster. <laughs> I like that they didn't put the Jitte on this guy. Or they didn't put... Uh... Yeah, the Jitte is what I meant. I guess if they did that, then the spear doesn't doesn't do its job. Oh dang. Well, at least we can play around... Uh... Manatithe and Force Spike and Daze. Hey, Daze! Three, four, five, six, seven. Also, they go to one if they counter this, because they can't activate this guy. Bop, 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 bop. Do they have Settler Wreckage, do you think? Are we just going to get a bunch of dudes? Or are they just going to go to game two? Daze! So, if you kill this guy, you're taking six. So, I guess we're just going to go all in. All reen. This guy gets Vigilance, too? Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. I just thought it was plus one, plus one. The Vigilance is relevant, man. You never told us you were a member of the world-famous vocal hardcore band Judd Judd? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. I've seen this band before. Wow. Uh, I'm not actually convinced we need anything sideboarded in. No. Hopefully our opponent sideboards into a better deck. <laughs> okay, we're done. We no, good, that was amazing. We had a good run. Seems like a mold to me. It does not seem good. My hand is hovering over the mulligan section. How's Q been for you? Fantastic. This is not also this is also not great, but I don't want to go to five. And I think I want to put you on the bottom because I want really yeah I want Redlands. I would have kept it. I would have kept it. See, look, it's Neil Spires. Okay, it was just a forest. I mean, a plains. You know what it is? Are you drunk right now? Yes. Yes. If they play a Jace, I'm definitely gonna deck and stone it. They didn't. I was real busy slamming in the back of my Dragula last night, so it was a it was a late night. I was digging through the witches and burning through the ditches. That slammed? Uh, or in the back of your Dragula? Well, then I slammed in the back of my... You know what, man? Don't worry about it. It's You wouldn't understand. It's a Dragula thing. You wouldn't get it. It's I don't want to be... I don't want to be insulting, but it's kind of a... You know. Okay, but for real, this acapella metal band, drums and vocals only, is amazing. 
Let's check that out. I don't want to get demonetized, guys. Just a little bit. That actually is pretty amazing. That's pretty good. I'm a fan of what just happened. Oh, they missed a land drop? And they only played a third turn Kithian? I'll let that live. It's It stays. I would like a Rugged Prairie here, because then we can play this. And just deal one to things and deal four to that. What if they play a Jitte? We get a Rugged Prairie. Deal one to your creatures, destroy an artifact, and you take two. Boom. Roasted. I'm pretty sure Rob Zombie writes his lyrics with a dartboard of spooky words. <laughs> Alright, witches. Got it. Okay, let's see. Alright, next next lyric. Dragula. Why did I write that? That's not even a word. Alright, well, Dragula it is. Sounds good. Hey, it's me, Jimmy Twitch, the owner of Twitch. Consider yourself demonetized. <laughs> oh, not Jimmy Twitch. I believe that's a Kappa smoking a spliff with cat ears. Yeah, that's the... Huh. What is that one called? That's the Kipo. That's the Kipo. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. I wish I, I wish one of these was a like Council's Judgment. Did you say Council's Judgment? Lucky, 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 lucky. That was kind of weird how that happened. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't expect it to happen. But here we are. I always love it when people misunderstand how Council's Judgment works, so they name their worst creature, and they hope that dies. And then I'm like, oh, they both died. Yep. Did you say Council's... Wait, so if one person names one thing and they name the other, they both die? Yeah, everything with equal votes dies. Oh. Yeah. That's why you always want to name the same thing. Yeah, it says uh, each player votes for an online permanent. Each exile each permanent with the most votes. So, or you know, or tied for the most votes. So if it's like one, 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 then all three get exiled. Oh, for crying out loud! Our deck would be real good right now if we had uh, mana. Correct. Let's get rid of that history. Don't know much about history. Actually, I want to get rid of this. And then next turn, they're going to make another 2-2, two -two, and we're going to deck and stone the 2-2-2s. Two -two -two no more in Soul Artifact? That is correct. Uh, that was about three hours ago. Your bill is going paperless. Great. Thank you. Paper bills are the worst. Thank you. No, they're going to O-ring your O-ring. Oh, no. Can we get another O-ring to break the game? Oh, <clears throat> biscuits. I mean, that's a pretty weak O-ring, though. Like, just to get back a Kithian. Some of these choices are less than ideal. Can I get a mountain? No? Fine. Don't know much about exile these. Is this a knight? Definitely not a knight. All right, so this just goes to the, goes to the trash can, and you have a 2-2-1. Two, 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 Who's what South Park character is that? Your mom. Okay, my mom. Got him. He did. He got him. I was not expecting that. Well, next turn we can either play this or if we hit a red, we can play this, which is pretty good. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a good one. That's one of the best ones. How is this so good? It's, it's very strange when a standard legal planeswalker is one of the more oppressive planeswalkers you can play on, like, a cube. What up, Doomsday? Always a pleasure, buddy. I will. One dig through the ditches and burn through the witches. I slam in the back of my Dragula. Dead I am the pool spreading from the fool. Weaken what you need. Nowhere as you bleed. Dead I am the rat. Feast you. Feast upon the cat bug. <laughs> All right, well, well, all right, we took it. I guess it's this. I, if, they, if we play Lyra, they just tuck Lyra, right? So, dartboard for sure. <laughs> I heard those lyrics. That is one. Hey, look, another YouTube link. Oh my God, why are you people like this? 
I wanna make servos. I don't know what this is, but I don't want to keep listening to YouTube videos because I'm going to get demonetized. And they're going to be like, excuse me. Remember that time we put mountains in our deck? Nope. Do you think Tefri will prove to be better than Jace over time? Jace the Mind Sculptor? Probably not. Um, I mean, he's good. He's though. very he's good. good. Do I think he might be the second, one of the second best Planeswalkers of all time? Maybe. Which is really surprising. It's just very good. But God, I just don't care about that at all. Are you going to draw a card? Are you going to tuck my angel? Tuck me an angel. Uh, okay. I just think like you can never be Jace's zero for drawing three cards. It's just so busted. Okay, well, you're hitting a bunch of lands here. Okay, I don't care about any of these things. I wish you didn't still have indestructible mana for this guy. Who's a worse Planeswalker, Jaya or Tybalt? Definitely Tybalt. 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 Mm, don't think it's actually close. I think Jaya is definitely fine in the... Like, Jaya, if you have the right shell for Jaya, I think it's actually... Her abilities are good. A close second to Ashiok? Yeah, I think it goes Ashiok... Not good right now. Is it not though? They can't flip this guy. We can keep pressuring this. This floats, so we can keep pressuring. Yeah, but what if they just tuck that? That's a good point. Then we have one ones, and it's really bad. They're pronounced ununs. <clears throat> ununs. Slam in the back of my Dragula. Did I just destroy this? Oh, God. Yep. I think this is a concession point. I don't feel good about it. I think we're too far behind. I don't feel good about it. Yeah, if we had a red man, I think this game would be totally different because Assembled Legion on board is pretty hard to deal with. They could tuck it, but... God, Tefri does it all. We have outs? What are our outs? Yeah, like if we attack once down to four, they kill it. If we play Lyra, they tuck it. Tefri goes to seven, which is pretty big. Thank you. We actually could have Alpha. Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome oh, that back. does give your angel plus one plus one. That would have been good, but I mean, like, they still tuck it. They still... Or they still destroy it. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's dealt you damage. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought it was just dealt damage. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mistakes were made. That would have been good. Okay. It doesn't kill if it hits Planeswalkers. That is good to know. The Star Dark dealt damage to you this turn. Oh, my God. We could have just dealt it three. Just We, we just wasted three points. Yeah. And they have Bane Slayer. I see. I see. It's okay. We're going to draw. See, it's funny because we have like three removal spells. Council's Judgment, Declaration and Stone, and Oblivion Ring, and they're all on the board right now. Oh, well, we still have a path. We That's true. We do have a path to exile. Slam. Fury is all just like unbeatable, right? It's pretty unbeatable. You get an emblem that whenever you draw a card, you exile a, oh, yeah. a permanent. We control, so. Hmm. What can we draw here? <clears throat> Alright, that puts us on the board. And also, if we hit a land next turn, we can go Leshnorn. We're not dead, which is really where you want to be. Not no, dead. We're not dead. And we have a significant amount of lifelink here. That's pretty cool. We could actually just trade here. We can always just swing back. I wouldn't worry too much about that. 
slam in the back of my dream. I mean, like if we attack Teferi, it's just. But I think like we're we're favored to get this off the board because they can just tuck this and start attacking us for six, and then we have no way to really deal with it. So I think we kind of want to get it off the board. Plus, gaining six when we're at ten is pretty powerful. Thank you. Thunair, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Wah, 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 wee, wah. <laughs> I hear that. Ain't that the truth? Classic. You know, player is a 6-6. Six, six. It has, they have the anthem out. No, they have a, they, yeah, they have a spear. This is a 6-6 six, six too. Oh, we just, oh. We just gained six and Teferi goes to one. I think you might not know how the spear works. Oh, I hope they try to do it. I hope we both misread the spear the first time. No, maybe not. No, well, they could have tapped, they could have tried to tap this to kill it and then been like, oh, wait. I don't know. That's weird, though, that they would just take, put Teferi down to five yeah or one rather when it's like one turn away from they're both six sixes guys this is a six six this is six six this other creatures you control get plus one plus one no that's pretty good yeah so this is six seven eight nine ten like we would either have to block with this if we didn't attack last turn Dig through the ditches and slam through the witches and burn through the britches and drag you Yikes. Yikes is right. Do we just block here? Or do we take 10? <laughs> I think we could just take 10 and go to 6. I mean, we have nine life points on nine life points and if we can slam an Aleshnorn that's fine no look at that it. it's gonna die oh wait no it's not if we draw a land we can fire a confluence for three it keeps our guy alive it keeps their guy alive and oh, I guess they still have this though it's not great they're at 30 right now fire confluence also kills spear which would kill mother Mother. And it would kill no, it. Mother's a 3-3 three, three now. Well, no, if we kill Spear, it'll kill it. Because we just steal damaged creatures. Oh, you're right. That's a truth. Land. Oh, boy. Slam in the back of my Dragula. <laughs> do, 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 Dragula. What do our do's for attacks? Attack. I'm just going to attack both at Teferi because I want yeah. it to die. And everything else can stay home, I think. Yeah, we don't have double red, so we can't cast Fire Confluence. Scootin' doot doot, Teferi's going to die. Put him in the trash can. Every day we're going to 19 here. I think That's if we can untap and they don't play anything significant, we can actually Armageddon to win the game. We could also fire a Confluence if we hit a red, because now their now their board is pretty pretty measly. We can go destroy their artifact, deal deal, deal two, two to everything, deal one to everything almost, because this would be a this would die, this dies naturally if we can get rid of the spear. Oh yeah, that so that okay so oh it just dies naturally because of the uh, the Aleshnorn. Oh that's hilarious. I wonder if we forgot about that. I guess he gets a bolster trigger out of it. Maybe that doesn't seem that. worth it, though. If that's what you're leading with, though, you don't have a way to get rid of the Aleshnorn, which is really all I care about. Sure. Another X1. Any red source. Come on. No, not Needle Spires. Not Needle Spires. Not Needle Spires, Magic Online. <laughs> you know, just a natural death. <laughs> Well, see you later. Someone called for a looter? Well, all right, see you later. Oh, dear God. It's a big boy. It's like nine. I think we go to five. Oh, it's ten. So we, do we go to four here? Damn, boy, she thick. Damn, Damn boy, he thick. Boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Damn. Most red sources we have are going to enter the battlefield tap. No, they're not. We have one that enters Battlefield tapped. Every other red source doesn't enter play tapped. The only one that enters tapped is uh, Needle Spires. Badlands doesn't. Plateau doesn't. 
uh, Clifftop Retreat doesn't. None of the mountains do. That's a weird Fetches. thing. That's a weird thing to say. Anything untapped? Yeah, I, that's a weird. Because of Thalia. Oh, I see what you're saying. Other, other than other do we than block. No, we don't block, right? How much is it? Just go to four. I guess that's fine. We have a lot of damage on board. They clearly don't have a. Uh, they also didn't leave up spear mana. That's pretty good. They are at forty. Well, that's awkward. We could Armageddon and leave everything back. I don't even know if we Armageddon, though. Although I don't want them to play creatures, as Exalted is really out of hand. It's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we just have to have a... Oh, the, here's the problem, though. They have Mother of Runes on board. Yeah. So, like, they just give this pro white and we die. Mm. No, we don't. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we'd be fine. We just have to gain life this turn, because this is this is really the key. We can't have a Lesh Norn die, so we can't throw a Lesh Norn out there. Why are you talking with those? Because I have to start oh, dealing fours. damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. We gain 13. It's pretty good. We take 10, so we actually net 3. They just take it all? Alright. Go to like 17. It's not bad. Do we win it? Do we like can we just Armageddon here? Is that good? I mean we eventually win. Because they don't have resources. And plus, this takes them off the spear activations, which is really good. Right. We just played a land though, which is pretty bad. Yeah, that was dumb. We shouldn't have done that, but I mean I still feel like Armageddon's good here. Like, I think the only way they win this game is just to keep playing dudes so they can exalt it more. Also, we have Assembled Legion. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing it. I'm just going to slowly win us the game. This seems actually fine. Play land and Armageddon, whatever. I don't think it's going to matter. Like, we get three uh, four fours next turn, and they don't really have great attacks. Like, if they attack with Baneslayer without exalting the Baneslayer, they're just going to die. Like, we just go block this. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Oh, no. Okay, that changed your mind. Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the uh, the woot bits. Yeah, go to seven here. So, we're actually netting life, though. Eight, nine, ten. We, take, we gain three every turn, and we take ten. So, this is not a sustainable business model. Well, they can't... Oh, yeah, they can. Hmm. Well, these both have life. Like, so it's not really... That's not really accurate. Yeah, but we only gain three. We gain five. We oh. go to 12. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. And they can only do that every two turns, so... I'm not bashing with the... Oh. Now, I want to keep some stuff back. Okay. Like, keep one of these guys back. We won't gain life from both, correct. We'll gain 5, we'll go to 12, and then this is, deals 10. So, like... But, we can always block this unless they give it pro on their turn as well, in which case we're just going to gain on the next turn. We're going to gain 8 and 5. We'll go to 2, and then we'll gain 15. So, like, it's just... They didn't do that anyway. Yeah, now they're pretty much dead next turn. Yeah, we're at 20. Like, this is... We're pretty safe here. I don't think I don't think you guys know. I don't think that's how Mother of Runes works. If this turn they blocked and gave this pro white, we don't gain eight. Sure, I get that. But we still gain five. We gain five. We go to twelve. Bane Slayer can only deal ten, so we'd go to two. So I guess they can keep this back, but we can still block. If we block and they give Bane Slayer, I guess it's got first strike though. So, yeah, I think they could have navigated that better. But it took too late because we would win the next turn because of all our guys. Yeah, I don't know. I think we, I mean, obviously we both misplayed in that game, so it's totally fine. There was a lot going on. 
They used mom incorrectly by not using her at all, actually. Like, they just didn't tap Mother of Runes at any point. But also, I feel like that game was over if we drew a second red source. Oh, yeah, definitely over. I mean, we all we also made mistakes. We made mistakes of, like, throwing a mountain out there when we... Sh or uh, throwing a land out there before we Armageddon. I'll keep this hand. Turn two cow into turn... Turn three... Turn two Jitte into turn three cow. That's a good card to play against the Jitte. Let's just kill it. No, it probably won't matter by the time it's active. That's true. That's a good point. You're so smart. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm proud of your smartness. Thank you. You're welcome. 501 Mukau Jitte. That's not even a that's not even a name. I like how he attacked with the bird. Uh, no, they oh. Message received. I like that they don't respond. They attack with the birds, so they clearly have some sort of sense of humor. But then they don't respond to my message, so it's like, well, what's really happening right now, man? That's a big, spoopy monster. So, Although fighting the cow doesn't work out too well for them. No, go ahead. Fight it. I dare you. They also need seven mana to effectively fight. If they deal it two with five mana. Um, yikes. I hope you put it all on one, dude. Put it all. That's a yikes for me, dog. That's a that's a big yikes for me, dog. Uh, so this is a... Oh, so two on you and two on you. All right, interesting. Do more, I just, more bits. Do I just block? You could. You trade. Ten more bits. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just block here and we'll oblivion ring this idiot. Yeah, that's fine. Trading with Pelucranos is like the most I could ask for, I think. I like this split for us. Like, they get a 2-3 bird, and I don't really care about that so much. I'm going to play O-Ring first. Maybe? I think it might be Judgment, because if they have a way to kill this, they just get this trigger back. Yeah, I don't like doing this, but... God, maybe they'll mess up. Mess up. Oh, dang, they mess up. Dang it. Every time, I just want the mess up. Okay. Overgrown Battlement on the top. Sounds good. Land Sir Lyra. Oh, come on. Really? This is how you're going to be? Oh, come on. Five mana, five mana. Activates, takes five mana. Dang it. Draw your Battlement. No land on top. Dang it. No second land on top. Okay. If we can get rid of this bird, they can't play click, which is nice. So we know they have a battlements in hand and three other cards. I don't think any of the cards in their hand are lands. Crutch Jr., thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I see. It's pretty good. I have an O-ring. I'm okay with it. Also, here's a thing we can do. Oh, yes, that was actually perfect. Go to planes. One, two. We're going to O ring this guy. Equip the jip. Jump him. Is it jump him? I like jump him. Because if they block here or here, we can take out both of these guys. Yeah, that's true. And if they don't block, then we just get to keep a guy. I think it's fine. Yep, seems good. I mean, Vendelli Click kind of is kind of terrible with uh with an active Jinte on board. You're right. So they draw a click, and they have to tap their birds anyway, so they can't really even pressure Elspeth here. 
So we know two of the four cards in their hand. We don't think any of them are lands because they haven't played them. My favorite thing is how often I get to say it and how it is treated with a sense of seriousness every single time. What? What are you saying right now? What did you say? Crutch Jr., thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Glad you could join, finally. Took you long enough, buddy. Say that there. Made fun of for taking so long. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That's fine. Also, we can play either one of these next turn. I assume they're just going to take Assemble because it's busted. Could have peeked at the top card before killing it. That's true. That's fair. Click is gone. Battlement's gone. Do 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 do. All right. I'm half the man I used to be. What'd they take? They took Mirror Entity? Interesting. That's not what I was expecting. They have two cards in hand. I might jump now. Yeah, now we're jumping because I want to get the damage in. Otherwise, they just block. And they're probably going to block here. <laughs> Maybe. If they don't, it's real dumb. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's... that's that's so incorrect. I mean, like, you save four points. And you're, you're like, you know that thing's going to die, right? Did you just play Assemble the Legion or Lyra? Lyra's more pressure. Oh, God. What if they have an answer for our Oblivion Ring? Then maybe we play Assemble. No, but I mean, if they have it, then they still are Elspeth, and they get to Ultimate or Elspeth. Yeah, what are you going to do? I hope they don't have it, I guess. Oh, so gross. What's the best thing we can do if they do have that? I don't know. Nothing. <sighs> Assemble, I guess. Yeah, we'll just play a land. I'm not going to... Actually, we have Armageddon. Maybe we hold the land? No, I want to play the land. Oh, gross. So gross. Here comes Acidic Slime. Reclamation Sage. We're by Elder. One of the three. Okay. Well, they didn't... They didn't windmill slam it pre-combat, so... And if they're attacking Elspeth... All right, so we're good. Woo! Woo! We did it. We did it, boys. We faded the, uh, the danger. Okay, that's fine. Did you hit a land? Wow. Wow! Wow! Always yield to that because I just... Oh boy. We can deal three dollar stuff. Well, it's all, it's all stuff. It's each oh. creature, so our guys would die too. Mm -hmm. That's less good. We could give this dude float. Yeah, and then kill his... We'd lose a token, but... I mean, kill both of their guys. What if we give this dude float, give this one neg one, neg one, and then we just kill our board, right? Yeah, but then we kill our board, too. No, this guy would have... He'd be a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's true. Because I really don't like that they have Tatiova out. Alternatively, we could deal them, like... No, I want to get rid of the birds, too. Oh, and we get rid of the battlement. That actually takes them off a significant amount of lands. Yeah, so we're going to go... Neg one here. Oh, and we can also follow it up with a Stoneforge Mystic, which is pretty good. Cast. Deal one damage to each creature. Stony McForgerson, draw a batter skull for free, like you do, and uh, pass the turn. Yeah, we could have attacked, but it doesn't really matter. Like they either, I guess they could have blocked with the O4. Uh oh, I see. That's a good one. That is a good one. I wonder what he takes. I don't know. Well, he's, he probably gets sort of the O-Ring to get the Dragon to get the Elspeth, but I don't think that's great. 
Maybe it's good. It's probably good. It's actually really good. Although we can get rid of the token <clears throat> with the JIT. Um, hmm. Yep, like you do. Also, if we can find an answer for Silumgar next turn, we just get to actually ultimate Elspeth, which is pretty insane. I mean, this is going to make two guys, too, so I think we're actually just fine. This is actually not the worst, surprisingly. It's <laughs> pretty good. Got him! Lucky, 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 lucky. And emblem. Yeah. <laughs> what a rip. How did you know that? How did you not rip that? Hmm. Whatever. Is that obvious? Interesting. All right, so Dragon Lord Solomgar is a dude. Yep. Yeah, but click was like four turns ago. I guess we played everything we've drawn since then. Fiery Confluence. We didn't path the OT because we didn't have any lands open. We pat we we were tapped out. I'm not sure you did see your hand. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you might know it's a rip. Eh, it's fine. I guess that's true. They didn't yeah, see that. So yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to deduce. I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, it was four to target creature. It was three to target opponent. I mean, I kind of want to condemn, but I don't think it's that great. I mean, it's good against Solomgar if they attack us, right? Yeah, but like by the time they attack us, I feel like the damage is done. Usually they're going to steal something good. Yeah, we can just resubmit. Sure, seems fine. Yep. Snap it off. Yeah, Sam seems good. William, have a good night, buddy. Thank you. Bye, Kachi Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. No. Then you can come out. And then pig. Interesting. Serum Vision's in a brainstorm. Lucky, 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 lucky. Cola Coma, thanks so much for the sub. This, uh, really appreciate it. Welcome back. Or welcome. Welcome, I guess. I was like, please don't be a Jitte. It was not a Jitte. It was not a Jitte. It was not. Yep, yeah, well, this is a Jitte, though. Maybe he farted. Who farted? Who, who farted? Ashiok? Oh, Shardless Agent into Channeler. That seems fine. That's okay. Uh, I guess we're just playing Cow here. Or we can actually... Yeah, I'd rather just better chill. Really? Yeah. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. 
Ask him out again. Okay, I believe you. I'm the biggest of your tiniest fans. Oh, wow, look at that tiny Kappa. <laughs> look at that little guy. Alright. Well, that's a thing. That is a nice little... A little boost. A little booster draft. I think we're actually going to put Jit into play. No, actually we play it next turn. Never mind. We, we, we definitely put Batter Skull into play. And the next turn we play Jit and equip it. They have one mana? Yeah, that's pretty good. Boop him and scoop him. Now we're just hoping for no dismember. <laughs> That's a good card. Beep beep. I'm a Jeep. Coming through. Old Man River. Can we kill his other guy now? Yeah. And we're going to. Pass it up. So they had five mana last turn. I guess they drew three cards, though. That's a good amount. What a Jitte. That's all Jittes, isn't it? Oh, a Gear Hulk, eh? Well, then. Yep, I figured you'd make two five fives, which is fascinating. Because we have Sarkon in hand. Deck of Stone Council. I right? was, yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. And I like that, like, even if they play Dragonlord Solongar, they can either get a Germ Token or a Stoneforge Mystic here. Seems fine. Crack that clue. Battlement. Pelucranos. I like Sarkon, kill your Pelucranos. Yeah, let's do that. He only does four damage, right? I have a Jitte on board. Uh, my my friend. Eh, no reason not to. Tempted to kill this because they they need a land to play Karn next turn. Do we care about this? I mean, it forces them to have a land if they have Karn in hand. Yeah, I like it. A Scrober is a Bober dad. A Bober is a very sober Scrober. Alright, so they're just cracking that. Seems good. And we can play. We can actually play Angel. Yeah, we're, they're just dead on board. Alright, sweet. Whenever I suspect someone is ghosting, I'm just like, I feel a little less comfortable right now. <sighs> Old man, my gold. How's Hunter Boy doing? Friggin' great. He's the best of boys. He was the best of boys. He was the best of boys. That's how you gotta 
And so you gotta alter it to make sure it's correct. How you doing over there? Pretty good. Okay. You should moon them if they're go I don't think we're I don't think anybody wins there. No one wants to see my bottom. I'm gonna keep this hand. I don't think it's very powerful, but it's got all the things I want. Maybe. Good luck, have fun, you too. I should I should let you know that we have yet to lose a game, so It's okay, we'll lose this one. Rob Coil Engine, what's going on, you sneaky you sneaky stalker you? It was the blurst of times. Oh That's from The Simpsons. You know the Simpsons? You ever seen The Simpsons? No, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know. Huge fan, I watch the streams all the time. Thanks so much. I don't I don't know if I'm familiar with your username, but uh, I like to keep I like to keep note. You should check out an episode of The Simpsons. It's pretty good. It's a good show. Oh yeah. What's yeah. it about? It's about uh, family, like the family. It's like the Family Guy, but it's uh, it's it about out. Homer Simpson. What? What was that voice you did there? I don't know. Okay. It's about Homer Simpson. Oh no, Mike cursed us with a loss. Who did? Mike who? Mike Barbobbly Boo? Who dat? You know that who dat meme? Yeah, that's good. You know, probably, it's probably bad. I think it's like a football meme. I don't know. It's really weird. I think it's like old trying to old people old people trying to be hip. It doesn't work very well. Or maybe it works really well. You know what? Who knows? All right, we're drawing a lot of planeswalkers here, and we want to get them out with this. I don't know how we even kill this though. That's my biggest problem with arena rector is that like, you can attack with it, they just take one. Okay, well we're just gonna play this guy. Deal with my one one. Hello, it's uh, Kermit the Frog here. Are you gonna counter this? Are you gonna remand my mirror? Are you gonna spell queller it? <sighs> If you guys haven't watched Matt Groening's new show, Disenchantment, you should. It's actually pretty... I, I heard, I've heard mixed feelings on it. Well, Frank, gotta hit the dusty trail, but if you're not scared of the 20-minute draft cues and not opening a car and tough for your liar, I'll see you in the Dominaria Swiss. I don't know if I'm gonna see you there, but why would you draft Dominaria and not Legacy Cube? That's super interesting. You gotta tell me. You gotta explain it to me, because... Interesting. Interesting. It's either you or you. No, it's either you or you, right? You can pressure Elspeth pretty well. All right, that's my big issue. I'm just going to play Rector here. Oh, damn near killed her. You idiot. Bye, bud. Because <laughs> I don't got any points, and I figure I might as well acquire some E-cards. All right, well, I guess that's fine. But, like, God, my enjoyment level of cube is so much... It's astronomically higher than of Dominaria. But, to be fair... I've also done about 60 plus Dominaria drafts, and you probably have not. So, I, I it's easy to overlook that. Kill this. I dare you. Yeah! How rude. I made the wrong D-face. I meant to do the backwards D-face, which is much more threatening. Old Mike River. I'm just going to play Night Errant. I could path this guy. I feel you, but like at least I have a chance of opening something and losing rather than just losing and not recoup. How, how, you? I feel like you've, you've had to watch enough drafts to know what you're doing in cube, man. I refuse to believe. Also, your chaos draft was very, very good. So, old Mike River. Hey, man, what's this dude's name? I believe that's Big Dicks sixty nine sixty nine. It's so hard to read it. 
I feel bad because like uh, Kyle's name was some elf a five five hole. So I'm wondering, I, I, but he had to change it. So now his name is some elf. Twitch made him change his name. So I would be, I would be careful if I were you, because, you know, you, you might, you might have a name change incoming. All right, if we can draw a red. If we can draw a red, we can go kill this, deal three to everything. You, and Elspeth should survive. Come on, red. Come on, red mana. Come on, red mana. That's not a friggin' red mana. I guess we can actually path this during combat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my name is Michael. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, when did that get suspended? Oh, last turn. Okay. I was banned from SCG with no reason. I think the reason is your name. I did. The, the name is your name. It's Big Dicks. <laughs> oh, man. I'm feeling attacked. Yeah, rightfully so, man. Oh, you're just going to the Faccio. I see. I see. Right in the Faccio. That's the face. In case you didn't Thank know. You. Oh, you know what we can do? We can block. Did you see that Thought Knots here? Nope. Dang, I'm the only one who ever catches these things. What we're going to do is we're going to block, and then we're going to plus we're gonna plus three, plus three everything. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Boots? These blocks are made for walking. And that's just what the hell do. One of these days, these boots are going to give plus two, plus two to all your creatures, make them three, three base power and toughness all over you. That was a good that was a good turn. Are you ready, Boots? Play nothing. Play nothing. Play nothing. Play nothing. Just pass. You got nothing. Oh, I got the sad face. That's good because it means it impacted him negatively. And that's a that's a pro for us. These boots are made for blocking. Oh, they're playing they're paying costs. Oh, biscuits. Upheaval. Upheaval? That would be bad for us, though, right? Yes. <laughs> then why are you, why are you I'm wishing it making, upon us? I'm just making a guess. They have one, two, three, four, five, six act active mana here, and they're not cracking this, so they're gonna cast something that costs six or less. It's gonna be a sun's chant. Revelark. I don't care about that at all. I don't actually. Oh God. Yarg. Where me la? Actually, is this an Armageddon turn? No. 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 Not when they have a better board. A better a bit a better blossom? Yeah, a better blossom. But we just have no way to deal with this sword of fire and ice, man. If we Armageddon here, like We can make our guys four fours and then jump and then attack for like a bunch. It's only eleven. But then they get to sword of fire and ice this dude up next turn. Yeah, but there's not really much we can do about that. But there's not really much we can do about that. There's a bit about it, but it was a bit about But it was like a bit Deal with it. <sighs> now you want to do the X first. Does right. it matter? Yes. Because they become XXs. So well, they have base power and toughness XX. So wouldn't the modifier still have an effect? I don't know how that Why works. Why risk it? Just do it the other way. Well, because here's... I don't know if I want to make a 1-1 one, one if I want to jump. It's turn 7. I really wish I just didn't miss our land drops. Then we can play Lyra, and it's just... I don't think this game is even close at that point when they have one card in hand. You like Geddon? No. Because then we can't pump them, and we just have 1-1s, one and then, like, this dies next turn. So it's literally two 1-1s one, versus a 4-3. Armageddon seems friggin' terrible right here. Now that I've reevaluated the situation. Is that you? Yeah, man. That's me walking in. You could just pump and make a guy. Elspeth's dead anyway. But if he does kill Elspeth, that means he's not sorting us, which is kind of cool. Well, no. He could sort us, attack our face, and then shoot the Elspeth. Not if we plus it. Oh, you're right. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, let's do that. 
And if he wants to trade with one of our guys, it's totally fine. Well, he can't trade with this one. They do get a Seagate Oracle back if they block, but... I don't think I care about that. Otherwise, they take 11 and go to 8. This is 6 damage right here. Are they trading? Oh, this is great news. I'm okay with it. Finding out this cube is more for control players. I don't know. We've played a lot of non-control decks. Yeah, there's a lot of mid-rangey well. decks that do just fine. Yeah, this is more like a mid-rangey cube, if anything else. My dad's a mid-rangey cube. Is he? Are you Reed Duke? He won't admit it, but he is. Why are you guys... Maybe. I'll never tell. Got him. Did you see me got him? Did you see it happen? No. Are they just going to go directly at the, the speth? One at the speth. Land. Oh, they're doing costs? You got v, you got a V click? Oh my god. I don't even want to show you my hand. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know about that. We okay. Draw land. What does a land do, though? I don't though? know if we straight can see. They're at 11. I don't think a land does much here, I'll be honest with you. Let's just play our spells. He lets us play our spells. Plus we have like O-ring in our deck. It's pronounced orange. Yeah, we have orange in our deck. I had a guy random telling me, here's the thing, I'm st I'm stacked? What does that mean? He was a stranger, <laughs> here's the thing, I'm stacked? I don't know what that means. My two heroes came from blue red control twin deck and a blue white control. Yeah, I mean, that's the control decks are good. If your control deck is good, it's good. I mean, yesterday I I three this week so far I've three would with a black white mid range deck. Um, what was our deck that three would yesterday? Black red, black red like black red mid range. They got rid of deck and stone. Interesting. They have one card in hand. Now I play Lara. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Oh, red man oh this is an angel. Ooh. That's hilarious. I just don't think we... Oh, really? Really? I don't want right. to trade with a click, though. All right, I'm glad this doesn't resolve this turn. If we can actually go Fiery Confluence, we can deal one to everything, destroy this, and deal them two. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, well, that's cool. You're a cool dude. <laughs> we have a good time. Two cards in hand. One is a deck in stone. Seems nice. This is more important to me than uh, taking five more damage and letting you draw an extra card. So that's now we're talking. Now we're talking. So we kill a sword, kill his three one, deal him one, or just a deal him two. Right? Yeah. One one one. Choose this one. One of these days, these creatures are gonna... We can also crack our... We're gonna crack our clue. So we actually... This game is actually pretty even now. Like, they're gonna go up to five cards. We have five cards. We have six lands. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have three more lands than us. And they have a one, three on board. But I think we're actually okay. I hope they actually draw, like, three creatures. They play them all, and then we can draw land and go Marshall Coup. That's... Is Mike drinking tonight? No, no. Mike is not drinking tonight. We're just hanging out doing some drafts. What he is? What are you saying right now? What's going on? I heard Reed Duke was in this chat. Lefo, can you confirm? <laughs> oh, God. What's happening right now? Have you seen Assassin's Trophy? Do you see it having a big impact on modern? I see Assassin's Trophy having a big impact in any format Literally that it's every legal. every format ever. Commander, Legacy, Modern, Standard, yes. It's going to have impact on all of those formats. I also realized that that card was an instant the other day, and I was like, why is this also an instant? Oh, you didn't realize that? Yeah, I didn't realize that at first. Yeah, it has the... the yeah, it's very, very good. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? 
discard card if you do draw a biscuit. Mike is way better than Frank at arts and crafts and playing the guitar. Is that true? Wow. Wow. I don't think so. I think Mike has some sausage fingers that he probably can't play the guitar with very well. I actually used to play the guitar pretty well. Really? Did you? Yeah. Damn it. I haven't played in like, you know, 10 years, but, you know, other than that. All we wanted was a land there. I didn't think it was a lot to ask, but apparently I was land incorrect. land pretty juicy. Just play Elspeth. That's what I'm going to do. Hope your two cards are not Cryptic Command, right? No, it can't be Cryptic. All right, we did it. Send me an angel. Next time we can go Stoneforge, Jitte, equip Jitte. That seems good. We do have to deal with this, though, which is unfortunate. Yeah, you could have a Papa Emrakul in there. Papa E, big Papa E, big Poppy, <laughs> confirmed sausage fingers. <laughs> I love that's the name Reed Duke would choose his undercover Twitch. Are we talking about the big dicks? Oh dear God. Oh God, that's unbelievable to me. Oh, see that Emrakul? Oh, he shuffled it back in. I see. Well then, why didn't they attack? Like this guy can't block. We can get in here. Yeah, but if we don't deal with this... We can deal at one. But then I just do it next turn. You can play Sublime Archangel. No, it doesn't do anything. They have three cards. Do we know any of them? I don't think so. No. Oh, little bill, little, little biscuits. What does she need all? What? What does she need all? Eight. She's on ult right, she's on ult right now. So we attack with all our guys and deal one. Yeah, but if they have... Any, no, well, I guess they have to have two removal spells, right? They only need one to save her, but... No, because Luteral Corda can't block. It's oh, just got that's Shadow. True. That's a Shadowy Boy. That. Yes, attack with all your bros. I say we attack with all our bros. Take her down two notches. Play Assemble. And plus Elspeth. We could also play Stoneforge Sublime, which gives us a very powerful flyer next turn. We'll have one, two, three, four. We'll have nine, like eight tokens, plus these two. That's actually lethal. Oh, you're gonna pay costs. Electro. All right, Searing Spear goes down to seven. Do you really have two answers? Oh my God! Come on, dude. Well, and the good news is that we'll have nice. Marshall too, though. But she's gonna kill us. It gives what they just they just kill us with Emrakul. They get haste. Yes. Oh, it's literally through the breach. Hmm. Well, isn't that something? <sighs> that's that's so stupid. Does she have big... Yes, she literally, literally shuffled it in. <laughs> they literally... That's why they have no graveyard. That was with the discard. Geddon doesn't do... What does Geddon do? They just kill us. Why are you guys like this? I mean, we can actually play Sublime Archangel and block? That's not bad. Oh, that's actually fine. I guess we're still alive. We sack three dudes, three lands, and a Stone Forge Mystic. Okay. Okay. We're not dead. 100% yes. Let's get Jitte. It seems better in the... Okay. We're not dead. We're not dead. Still alive. I hope... Uh, okay. Also, they have to lose their Nahiri to do this. Watch so the... they have to sack at the end of the turn? No. It's negative 8. Oh, no. It, it bounces to their hand. Okay. Your hand was Days Removal Spell Removal Spell. Amazing. Cool. <sighs> wow. Absolutely unbelievable. It's like basically perfect hand. That was mind blowing to me. The literal perfect hand you could ever have. Okay, well, I guess you got. I guess we could have played Sublime Archangel first and played around the literal days being the last card in their hand, but I guess. They could have drawn Emrakul, I guess, sure. I mean, it was a one in. What, 26 chance? But, whatever. Magic's hard. Uh, 
I don't think we actually... I think our deck's fine. Why did you let this happen? Some had to give. <sighs> this hand is bad. Yeah, I agree. This hand is better. This hand's uh, pretty good. Please leave. <laughs> did you need a 7 drop? No. No. What does Wave do? I don't think Wave is great here. It's okay. The top's going to be a Numazawa's Jitte. You guys ready? Y'all ready for this? It wasn't a Numazawa's Jitte. Here comes the daze. Okay, we didn't get dazed. Okay, we did it. All Should right. be careful to play around it, though. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my daze daddy. <laughs> Joking, I like both. Frank is not Frank without <laughs> Oh, man. Jesus. Also, so, like, it's funny, because if we attacked with Needle Spires, uh, we wouldn't have been dead, because we could have pressured Nahiri enough with three guys. They couldn't stop four. We, we would have four, four attackers, and they couldn't stop four attackers. Um, If we played Sublime Archangel first, we would have had a blocker. So, like, there was actually quite a few ways... A few different plays we could have made on that turn that would have changed the game, so... Interesting. Well, that was sad, because now we don't get to Batter Skull, but... They don't have any blue mana. Oh, never mind. JK. Days. All days it. <laughs> Spell Queller, sure, okay. Stone Church Mystic Person was we lost last game too. What does that mean? Did we lose two stone? I guess we kind of lost to Stone Forge Mystic. In the sense that we played it first and then should have probably played it last because we wanted to make sure. I just didn't put them on days. I didn't think so like once they played Searing Spear and Path, and that was two of the three cards in their hand, and they were so perfect. In my head, I convinced myself that there's no possible way. Your third card is also the perfect card for you to have. Did you just kill the spell queller with this? Mm. It doesn't seem good. No. We can't do anything else, which is pretty sad. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you're agreeing. Stoneforge is Nahiri, is it? Can you say hi to my five-year-old daughter, Violet? Violet, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. What if people just do that to get me to say weird stuff? They're just like, hey, man, say hi to my, my brother, Duke. Hey, Duke, how you doing? Duke doesn't exist. I just made him look stupid. That would be sad, right? You know, I don't know if people are really going that length to get you. And and that's, like, not even a good get. Because, no, like, you didn't really... Know. Oh, now, now Fiery Confluence just got... Just let me draw... Well, land, 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 land. Yes. <sighs> Damn. Damn, boy! He thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! <laughs> Alright, we got a twofer out of it. Alright, they have two cards in hand. Oh, no. No, they still got time for that. Such happens. cringe. It's just you see it there, and you're like, I have to win in four turns, otherwise I can't win after that. Can you say to my friend Prince Charles? Hey, Prince Charles, how you doing? How you doing, Swriggle? Sw All right, that's that's, sure. that's fine. God, they really hate this. The land's good. Uh, we could play Legion and play around days. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Plus, Legion probably just wins the game, so. Joke's on you, I have a dismiss. I have a real counter spell. <laughs> You thought I only have fake counter spells. I have real counter spells, dummy. Oh. Uncle, Uncle Jimmy loves the stream. <laughs> hey, Uncle Jimmy, how you doing? Good times. I've learned my opponents always have the perfect card at all times, but thank God for booze. Well, all right, well, that's fair. Y'all ready for this? Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, oh, okay. you, you want to just Elspeth? Yeah. I think we're fine without. I just want to get some. I don't think. I th I think I probably misplayed there. I think you're correct. I got hasty. Are you going to kill this immediately? 
Sure. They have no cards in hand? Yeah. I guess we just win no batter skull, right? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Alrighty then. Welp, okay. See you later. Say hi to my hi hi Crutch Jr.'s Bober Dad. <laughs> Why did you start with this dude? Oh my god. Oh, that's good. I like that I see the land you drew. Next turn they're filling, but now I feel like we're in good shape. Because they have a lot of catching up to do. Laquitius, pronounced Laquitius, describes the act of doing lucky. Okay. Well that's Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty good. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Can't do everything. Nah, we can just do that next turn. This one? Yeah. We're just doing this, right? Yeah. This is my Bober Dad. Make some duders. I think this game is over, right? Boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, 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 Always yield to this, man. All right, here you go. Refill, refill time. Refill it up. I feel like you can't deal with this, 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 and this, and I feel like they're all pretty good perms. No less than a god. What's going on, buddy? That ain't gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Let me just kill that. You're correct. And that, I'm gonna F, I'm, I'm gonna get my turn back. I forgot I had a Jitte, so now we're gonna. If they play any spell, I'm just gonna respond to it by uh, making this dude sad he exists. <laughs> they have one card in hand. Yeah, I don't care about this guy. This guy's only threatening if you play spells, and at that point, then we can make a Bober Dad, a sober Scrober, if you will. All right, so how many... Hold, hold on. If we play this and we attack with this, what? how big is it? Four? It gets exalted itself, right? So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's a 17, 17? Yep. <clears throat> and we can also remove their blocker. Huh. So let's do that. That kills them. Let's see if we can do it right now. Let's see if you have a spell as your last card. I bet you do. Yeah, of course they are. They never don't. They never don't. Okay, you got it. I'm just gonna move that anyway. See that Emrakul? Did, did it did it do it over here? Did it like yeah? Did it, yeah, it always. It's so weird. It's the last turn. It was thought knots here. Like it's so weird the randomness that that gets picked. Okay, so this guy goes to an un un. Is this better than Alfing though? I'm gonna crack a clue here. They don't have any cards, so I'm not afraid of days. Okay, well, that's a thing, innit? That's a thing, isn't it? If we did that first, we could have Council's Judgment this guy, use the counters on this guy, and then just one. No, we wouldn't have had mana for Sublime, I guess. Right. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to give them one top deck. In which case, it's probably just better to play Sublime Archangel. Make this guy absolutely humongoid. And kill all the things that they have. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, boy. Put them all in the stack. I don't care the order. I really don't. Oh, boy. I think there's a button you can use to do this, but I don't know what it is, so... I mean, Ugin's fine, because then we make four 1-1s one on our turn. And Batter Skull and, and Jitte survive, so... I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll, 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 I'll. You'd also need a land and an Ugin. They got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No, they have 9 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, Ugin's 10. Ugin costs 8. You're thinking, you're thinking Ulamog. Oh, Ugin. Oh. Eugene. No, that would actually be pretty brutal. He could just clear a whole board. Oh, because they get rid of this. Never mind. Yeah. I don't know how that works. I mean, they'd have to draw Ugin. Ugin has to be on the top of their deck. That'd actually be really brutal. They're not going to top deck Ugin. Listen to me being positive for once. 
No, we just bounce batter skull. We get to keep a batter skull. How do we bounce? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it sure, doesn't sure. also doesn't die, so we just get bounce batter skull, and we also get the martial coup for like a million. Ugin isn't even that bad. Is this real life, dude? That's pretty good. I mean, we still kill them. Well, I mean, I guess we don't kill them directly, but... For eight. So they get to kill Elspeth, they kill all of our tokens. All of our uh, creatures. Can they still kill Elspeth with that? Yes, because it's either... it's it's where the, I, I don't know where the card is. Yeah, to target player or Planeswalker. Okay. Here comes Assault. I mean, I'm not mad. Like, he's got a good attitude, so I'm, like, not upset about it, but... Why did you... Interesting. And also, we're in fine position, right? Like... Well, he's not dealing damage to you, so there's no reason to overpay. Oh, that's a good point, I guess. Yeah, you just want to do it for six, I guess. One, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they did it for seven, so... I can also equip one of those tokens with a better skull. I can equip anything I want. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, six, eight. We can build eight here. I mean, we're still in good shape, but this is game two, so we still have another game after this. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Armageddon would have been sweet there. This is like the perfect Armageddon board. Boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom. This is the best I can muster. <laughs> Watch him go Ugin into. I mean, we still have Batter Skull in that at that situation, so, and we still have Marshall Coup. Like, I wouldn't play that land. I don't care about Armageddon. I'd rather just get to a point. I don't know, man. I think it's. You I just don't need it. I think the game's over. Insanely good game. Well, that was just game two, right? Yeah. All right. So. You might have a hard time dealing with Storm Breath Dragon. You might be right, actually. We didn't see much hard removal outside of Deckenstone. I think I think this can come out. Yeah, it's not been pulling its weight. Like it, they just never kill it, and it's just a one two. Yeah. I almost feel the same about this. I don't know. Would we'll have put it over it though. I like Chandra. Just for card advantage. And it pings their, like, their guys. Like, it can ping the monk tokens. It can ping, uh... You can ping Nahiri. Just helps. Um, yeah, true. Looter, looter gets hit by it. Vendillion click gets hit by it. Like, okay, sure. It's not, it's not bad. Take out Mirror Entity. Mirror Entity could be good. I probably want to take one of these. Maybe Angel. Maybe I'll take out Angel. Yeah, it's a little slow. I just don't like the, the value it provides. Like, it provides, like, two one ones or which Or, I guess, they're two twos, but... I mean, a 2-1 and 2-1-1s is not really... I think Stormbreath Dragon might just be better, even. Yeah, I'm going to keep any hand with a Stoneforge and a Council's Judgment in it. Didn't Arena Rector absorb a spell caller? Yeah, it did, but, I mean... if they, I think if they leave it on the board, it's just sitting there. Like, it's not an actual threat... It's like a presumed threat. They just think it's a threat. Maybe that's good enough, but I'd rather have an actual threat like a Stormbreath Dragon. No, we do, we have plenty of red mana. We, we have eight sources of red. That should be more than enough for for two red. And we also we have, have two red in hand. Yeah, we're good to what go. What problem is? What problem is? Do we risk it? Could get dazed here. Yeah, I think we're going to wait. We have no... Plus they have dazed mana, so they don't have to put themselves back. Daze is back. 
All right. Here comes a monastery mentor. Gideon. Hmm. You got it. You got me noodle spires. Every mic be yeah. Mic B's back. All right. I had to put your audio on audio mode as I ride my bike home. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. I'm just like a, I'm like an audio book now. And then, the opponent played an island. It was unexpected, and the Stoneforge Mystic bit it because Never lives. had they had the Searing Spear. So Frank would soon untap. And perhaps he would counsel's judgment that What's Gideon that of the he doesn't have one. Oh. He makes an emblem that says you can't lose as long as you control Gideon. He can become a four four and he prevents the damage. Right. Right. Let's play Elspeth. Well, we're still playing around days. Oh, sure. I don't want to give their days value rather than have days. Do day. you really want to kill a Gideon? No, but it's really good. Like <sighs> I think we just wait. It doesn't do anything. It could start attacking for four. So <sighs> <sighs> Isn't Searing Spear strictly better than Light? Aren't they the same card? They're the same exact card, right? I don't think one is strictly better than the other. I mean, unless uh, you're talking flavor-wise. Like, you know, like, I like this flavor better. I think Council just been such a waste on that guy. He just doesn't affect the game. Right, I'd rather but, just take four, pass turn, then play also. Here's the thing. They don't have anything to do right now. They don't have any... Pr if we take this off the board, they have no pressure. Which means they have to play something to start applying pressure. And, mm. like, once they do that, then we have we have a great window to play Elspeth next turn, and we can block. But, like, if they put a second thing on the board, and we just play Elspeth, we're very, very far behind. Yeah, I guess. Like, the problem is that, like, on an, on an equal board, this guy's very good. No one even had to choose. Because if they go like Vendillion Click, then we're just like, we go Elspeth, and we're just like, okay, we're just behind. We're one step behind then. Because we didn't do anything with our mana at that point. I'm just going to play around days the whole game, which is totally... I hope it's in here. I was just stranded there. Oh, all right. You got to... Sure. It's actually fine. So yeah, if we went to play Elspeth, and then they played this guy, and then they just have Gideon and this guy on board, and we don't have an Elspeth, then we're just like, well, alright, we, nothing we can do. I definitely don't think you side out days. Like, it's just, it's just good. It just, you can still get them, even if they know about it. Or you force them to play, uh... Turn behind. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, you can do anyway, even if you, even if you side it out. Well, that's a better Gideon. We do have a Marshall coup. Rock your body. I'm gonna laugh if they path this guy. Let me just go into Marshall Coup for seven. Keep up a day's mana. On the on the one hand, I'm always glad to see this because it's like basically you're discarding a card for four turns, and I'm like, okay, one less option. On the other hand, after four turns, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to take this Gideon and this Spell Queller damage. And then we're going to come at you. That's a good one. That is what's known as a good one, especially because we still have the Days play around. Who's this Marshall Koo guy? Marsh. <laughs> yeah, it's old Marshall Koo. He's my friend from East Asia. Put a little Elspeth on it. Oh, 
she survived. We have one, two, three, four. Like they're gonna go bonfire for four. Kill these, kill this, attack her, and then attack for a million. Oh, thank goodness, no bonfire. We did it. There's still like a million other things you could have. Really? Like what though? He is pressuring our Elspeth, which is kind of sucks. Well, for two, but then we just like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We just we have, we have eight mana next turn. We can marshal coup for seven next turn. Oh, they got that emblem, boy. If we marshal coup for seven, we get two Elspeths out. Seems good. Yeah. What do you think about that? And then we can just play Mirror Entity. Oh, they didn't even attack. They didn't even attack. That seems weird. Well, they probably have four, uh, four answers, so. Do we just play Mirror Entity? One, two, three, and then make everything six sixes? That's interesting. Yeah, that would also make your uh, germ token a 10 10 or whatever. Jesus, that's a lot. My concern is playing this before Marshall Coup, but I don't think I care. No. Oh, they're paying costs. Dang, his soul is gone. I mean, I guess we get to kill Gideon here, which is pretty nice. Unless they again have like a million. This is going to go to your face. These three are going to Gideon because you only have two cards. So you block. You don't have Searing Spear anymore. <laughs> so. Alright, we activated this. We still got a land up that we can block with. We just play this? Okay, we're good. I think we're in good shape here. Man, they just countered a mirror entity. That's how scary it is. Stormbreath Dragon off the top. And then we can monstrosity it after you draw your your cardums. Oh boy, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the bonfire for, for, for three. Oh, boy. This is what it's like to never not have it. Bonfire for three. Are you ready? Anger of the gods. All right, actually, that's fine. That's better. It doesn't actually do that much. No, that's much better. I'm a fan of that. Actually, maybe this is where we marshal coup. I'll attack first, but... Yeah, they have one card in hand, and they're two turns away from Ancestral Vision. We so. could also wait in the marshal coup. Like, wait until it would threaten to kill Osbeth. Like, give it one more turn. See if he plays something. Yeah, but I don't want them to draw... Yeah, but I want to I have the tokens on board for before Ancestral pops, because I think we can win that way. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, yeah. we'll get... We're going to keep one mana out. So, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we get to make six dudes, nine dudes, and we get another Elspeth. Okay. Sure. And then we can equip this next turn as well, so... Yeah, this is pretty good. This puts a lot of pressure on the board. And I'll, they also don't have a blocker anymore, so, like, where, whereas now they could block here and take three... Like, now we get to put 10 dudes on the board. Unless you have a... <laughs> yes! Played around it all game. Get rewarded. Fantastic. He did always have it. Fantastic. Dang. Make a dude. That's such gas. It just... You, you, just, feel, you just feel vindicated after that. I want to see how long they had it. To see if, like, all of our efforts were paid off.
They have no cards, so they get the top deck a bonfire here. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Kill one Elspeth, which is pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, we can play a land next turn, activate Needle Spires, and put Batter Skull on it, and that still kills them. Great games. It was a joy to play someone such a. Uh, And create you, create all the things, and do we play land? We had to have because we maximized our uh, our gentleman. So they get one card. It's gonna oh, it wasn't bonfire. I think we did it. That is not gonna do it. Oh, they took the two. Man, three zero, three zero with our red white. I kind of would have laughed if he was like, yeah, it's been good games. He untaps and he's just like. Uh, Kiki Juki. Faster <laughs> <laughs> Mike. He had one card in his hand. He goes, uh, Factor Fiction. No, I don't know. I don't know what he, what he could have drawn. But either way, those are great games. The great, great deck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check them out on Patreon and on Twitch. Uh, both links are in the description. I actually posted a my thoughts on Assassin's Trophy in a Patreon podcast this week. So if you guys want to help me out there, a dollar a month, super low, you can uh, help me out, and it means a ton. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.